the most expensive sneakers. The Supremes. Yeah. The Supreme. Yeah. Red cement. Yeah. It's iconic shoe. Yeah. Iconic. Chunkies. This is also you wore a fair bit you wore for the promotions as well. We yeah. saw that. Yeah. This was like a late ac uh, acquisition. Fairly late. But I again saved it for a special occasion and turned out to be. Yeah. You like the materials and the. It just looks probably the most edible sneaker. <laughs> it looks very delicious. It looks delicious, right? Looks delicious. It just. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, one thing was pretty clear from your collection is that you absolutely love dunks. Yeah. At what point of this. Collecting journey, did you figure out that that's where your favorite is? So high tops are like uh, not not. I can't put them together all the time. Dunks are very easy to put on, easy to get off. Yeah. I don't need to like really like Think uh, too work towards it. Yeah. And also just the comfort, especially the SB dunks, the way they sit and the way uh, yeah. uh, they feel. And I'm I've been a fan of watching skateboarding videos. I was never into it. But I enjoyed uh, enjoyed that as a sport because also it looked very fashionable. Like yeah. <laughs> it's one of those, you know, people are those skateboarders are not out there to just do skills on skate, but they're also like doing their own like statement yeah, and fashion and like always. Mm -hmm. This is a pair I fell in love with. Like I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, why am I loving a sneaker which has like. So much going. So much going. I, I would know. never like none of my sneakers have yeah. so much going, right? Two different shoes. But it's just two different experiences. Yeah. But two it suddenly it somehow just came together beautifully. Yeah. And this uh, Paul Rodriguez, uh, his, I've been watching his videos for a long time. Uh, he's an icon. Yeah, definitely. And uh, and I was like, man, this guy's probably ten years of work has put gone into like. Every single in this shoe, one yeah. one pair of sneakers, so I I got a couple of them. This I is see one. that doubled up. So I got an eight and eight point five, both both my sizes. I love that. <laughs> one to rock, one to stock. And even the Magnus Walkers dunk, because it's unlike any other SB dunk. Yeah. Like these SB dunks probably are the most unique SB dunks ever made. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no like padding. There's none of that. There's no fat lacing. Uh, there's literally none of it's these. It's a little bit deconstructed. Uh, it's and it's just very different material. And then apart from this, Tiffany's were very difficult for me to get my hands on, but special, I was special. able to uh, get Tiffany's. Uh, this is a very rare pair. Another of one. course. Uh, and so this Absolutely is something that I love. Gorgeous. I love the Tiffany color a lot. I so love That's the reason that I have a Tiffany blue Rolex as well. Of course. This is another rare piece. That. We'll get yeah. that. And apart from this, I have all and the I see all uh, the grateful dads. All the grateful dads. I have all Chunkies. the three of them. Uh, another roughed up shoe. I mean, like, why I'm showing that my shoes get roughed up? Cause I just want people to wear their shoes. Yeah, like, right. it's very cleaned up. But I wore it to a party. <laughs> but it's fine. It's, if it gets roughed, I mean, like, I'm not a collector. I am a person who wants to wear his shoes wherever he wants to. For sure. And that's how it should be. I, I think know. we see it, and I agree. You should be wearing like your shoes. If it's dirty, I could just get it cleaned up, guys. But that's how it is. You should wear your shoes. Wear it where you want to. दिल्ली में रहता था आई टू विजिट डीएलएफ एम्पोरियो लॉट मतलब ऐसा था कि जाना था अम्बियंस पर जाते थे एम्पोरियो होते हुए ताकि एक चलो नजर मार लेते हैं मैंने यू टू वॉक थ्रू दैट कॉरिडोर कुछ ना आई कुड नॉट अफोर्ड एनीथिंग टू बी वेरी ऑनेस मतलब एक बेल्ट भी मेरे औकात की बाहर की थी एंड दिस ऑलवेज यूज टू हिट मी मतलब यू नो कि नहीं ले सकते कोई बात नहीं बट इट्स फाइन मतलब वही था कि उस टाइम रिग्रेट होता था यार पैसे नहीं है बट आई कुड नॉट बाय इट सो लग्जरी में इसलिए गुजरा मैंने स्टार्टेड डूइंग रियली वेलिंग गेमिंग मेरा पास ये था कि बाय जस्ट बाई इट्स अबाउट ईगो बाइंग मतलब मेरा यह था कि जो चीज मैं अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकता मुझे सब खरीदना है सो वन पेयर आई हैवन वॉन्ट बट आई इट्स वेरी क्लोज टू माई आई लव द कलर इज द प्योर रेड इट्स प्योर ब्लड एंड इट्स अ टू थाउजेंड थ्री पेयर इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग एंड यू डोट फाइंड इट लाइक इफ यू इन डेट्स कंडीशन डोट फाइंड इट एंड आई थिंक इट्स नॉट देयर ऑन गोट एज वेल ये पेयर ही नहीं है दर इज नो पेयर बाई दिस नेम एंड दिस इज समथिंग आई रेड अबाउट इट के मॉर्निंग टू थाउजेंड थ्री एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पेयर्स जो आई है मार्केट में उसमें यू नो लाइक वेन यू टच वो निकल जाते हैं आई गॉट इन अ वेरी गुड कंडीशन आई वॉन्ट टू ट्राई दिस ऑन आई थिंक राइट ना दिस वुड मेर फेवरेट बिकॉज आई वन सीन अ पेयर जो रेड में इतना सुंदर दिखता हूँ So this is oh, gonna so be my favorite show. amongst all. Like, वो तीनों को हटा दो. You can't. <laughs> you can't talk about this three. The top yeah. three. The top leaving three. those. But leaving this, I think, like, from the sentiment of it, goes right on. Right. Yeah. So this pure blood's name goes by the name pure blood, and I love this. Next section here, which is 
organized dunks and there's unorganized dunks on the floor. Oh yeah. So what's the story with dunks? 375 pounds. Remember? Such a steal. Look at the condition on these, dude. It's a nice shoe. So nice. Are you still wearing dunks? I am, man. I am. But dude, I just I'm so lazy. These just wearing Converse's and Amiri's. Uh, I'm gonna get back into wearing. So what it. is the process? How how do you pick out your shoes? It, the outfit comes first, Vedu. Outfit always comes first. And then you come in here. Yeah. Then I come in. So this is the lobster pack, which I really really like. Greens, purples. Greens. You got the reds with the white laces. Beautiful contrast. The rubber band. And I love the story with the rubber band. With the yeah. Look at that. The, the hit with the neon. No? The uh, contrast. The laces. It's nice. Man, this doing so this video. So the lobster pack of shoes is all come with these rubber bands because lobsters. Uh, a very cruel practice of eating lobsters usually involves storing them with rubber bands to keep their claws shut. Uh, and then the Gratefuls strange also. Strange loves. I love these. I love these. Yeah, I remember you fell in love with the Grateful Dunk Pack, and I was like, "What is that?" Blah. Blah. Still not a fan. Strange loves though. Yeah, very nice. So pretty. And then these are some of like the dunks that I'm getting into more now. You'll never see these. These are just kind of like a women's release, but in a men's size. Daktari. Th these are very hard to get. And in terms of dunks, which one, which ones are your favorite? Uh, has to be, has to be what the dunks. Yeah, has to be what yeah. the dunks. One of my favorite sneakers. I mean, the materials on them are so classic. And even, even what the pirots, you know. I mean. They have done. They have done so beautifully. They have done a beautiful work on this. Have you worn these anywhere? <laughs> no, I haven't. You haven't worn these. I haven't. Ever. I haven't. I haven't worn. I haven't worn most of the shoes here. And even the Momas, you haven't worn. No, I, worn. I. I just. I just love watching them. What is your uh, most expensive sneaker that you own? Uh, yeah. Again, it's it's what the dunks. What the dunks. Yeah. yeah. This is the most expensive sneaker in my collection, and uh, the other one is uh, Off White Chicago's. Yeah. Those those two are the most expensive sneakers in my collection. When I was small, uh, I had many cousins. I have many cousins right now, in fact, who are staying in the U.S. and uh, they do skateboarding. So whenever I used to visit them, I used to see them in SBs at that time. So it, I'm talking about 2000s, early 2000s. So I used to watch them in uh, SBs and skating and everything. So I always used to, you know, feel that I even I want to skateboard. But uh, there, there was there's not much awareness about it in India at that time. So whenever I used to come to India and I, whenever I used to speak to speak this about dunks and everything to my friends. Uh, I mean, they, they they didn't know about it, but I, I I loved the dunks at that time, and since then, the, as you said, the bug bit me then, right. and I always wanted to have uh, dunks with me in my collection. Like, what do you wear like every day if you're going around? Yeah, doing so something? everyday beaters are the FTC dunks. Right. Yeah, these are my everyday beaters. I mean, the colorway is really good. Uh, the I love the blue on them. It's it's great. I I in terms of dunks, the one which I don't have uh, with me in my collection is the OG pigeon dunks. Right. Yeah. The 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 dunks which created the history. And right. In, yeah, yeah. In 2005, when they released, they had they had big feuds out there on the streets of yeah, New York. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the dunks which I want once in my life. So uh, my other favorite dunks from here has to be Travis Scott. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The Travis. A great design. A great designer, Travis. Travis has collaborated with Nike and has created waves everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the other is Civilist. Civilist is great too. You know? Right. Yeah. Amazing work again. A German-based company. Uh, changes color with heat. It's an it's that's heat activated. So this is actually I just heard about this today yeah. only. I did not know about this sneaker before. Most of my dunks, I would say, like I love the pandas, even though the the quality of the leather is quite crap on those. It's just a nice looking pair. The Newcastle, for sure, my favorite, uh, and the first dunks I ever got, and it shows now. But uh, yeah, man, I, I very recently copped a pair of the Civilis. Those are fun. I like how they sit and change color with heat. And you got me the the Stasi cherries, which are just. Beautiful. <laughs> I've worn them just once. I'm damn excited about this. I'm gonna wear a lot more of those. Uh, final section of your closet, which is surprisingly the smallest. Like I said, most sneakerheads, you know, the Nike section is 
significantly larger just given the varieties of silhouettes right uh, how come there is like a lower affinity towards nike here uh i think i love the dunks mm. okay uh within that i quickly realized that i actually love the sb dunks and not just, and not the dunks yeah the thicker dunks uh, yeah the thicker dunks much more comfortable uh, uh jordan somehow i've never taken fancy to uh, you know i just feel that uh, there's nothing extraordinary but i've never understood the hype uh and mind you i'm a huge fan of michael jordan you know yeah. follower of basketball for many 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 now couple of decades now yeah. but it's it's one silhouette that's uh, you know never caught my fancy but dunks i absolutely love uh, some of the good ones are extremely difficult to get uh then i see your again you have a strong affinity for specific collections right? we see the supreme set um were you fond of these are you keen to purchase some of the older og supreme dunks like the no ones? no no i'm not i i mean i think in this began you know just for a lark uh started off with it i in this my favorite are actually the green ones okay uh the mean greens as they call them mean green uh, this is really strong uh, pop of color yeah strong pop of color and we can tell by theme you like this sort of pop of color yeah right? abso- it's absolutely orange yellow yeah. green and then it just that, that uh, you know and again i think uh, most of this is from you guys itself uh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. i was able to actually build the collection awesome collection wise then from the next pop of color we have the grateful dead oh yeah so this again uh, started with the green uh, okay. again from you guys uh, uh-huh. you know long <laughs> wait but uh, yeah it it Go came green. the orange ones i was very very lucky i think it took about 6 8 months uh, low ball offer on stockx had forgotten about it and it just uh, you know and one day it just uh, dropped and got it and i think i just saw it recently it's some crazy pricing now so yeah, yeah. yeah the grateful dead have definitely gone up Uh and then there's some other interesting shoes I see the Habibi dunks uh, and yes. I know how much time you spent in the UAE I'm sure that was a special shoe to you Oh absolutely you know and uh, I actually have an iconic shot of this from my hotel room uh, I'll share that with you you know with the Burj uh, Khalifa in the background Sick So but yeah again I I you know I I like it I like actually like it I know a lot of people will not uh, like me for saying it uh, more than the Chicago's which incidentally were the first pair I ever bought from mainstream Amazing. you know uh, didn't know any of you guys just walked in uh, you know uh, <coughs> there was Himanshu sitting there and he said okay we'll order this for you uh, yes of course it took lots and it lots of months uh, <laughs> for it to arrive I I remember that. Yeah, but that's that's what uh, really get going but it's something that I've never worn. Sparked a strong relationship. Absolutely. 